Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro. I'll be an overs. <laughs> Welcome to a pint and two shots. Coming to you from the G4 podcast studio with part-time pundit and average actor Stephen Purden and bringing a wealth of knowledge and questionable patter, it's our no-nonsense dafty Chris Toll. Completing our front three, it's the man himself. All the way from the tap end of Stevenson, it's Grado! Welcome to a pint of shots. It's a, a podcast. A pint of shots. By the way, that would get you wrecked. A pint of shots. What's the pint of shots? You said a pint of shots. Welcome to a pint of two shots. It's a podcast. It's a football podcast. We're joined here today in the G Four Claim Studio and wish a when none other than Chelsea Bob Crystal, Scotland and Celtic hero. I'm surprised he's even arrived today this podcast because it's not even a good podcast is it Trips? <laughs> it's Jackie <laughs> McNamara <laughs> alright Grey Dog and he's in banter around the applause yeah. <laughs> 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 he's on the other side I'll be all G'd myself up I'm going to say it his face has went red he's been building up to that all day I'll tell you what that's a different inter- uh, introduction than he got the last time wasn't it Aye. remember I was singing the song to him and all that wow oh, yeah. his name is McNamara he's a Celtic boys like that that's better but he is it's talented in defence into it. I've sang that more than once <laughs> more than once when you and Simon were steaming down that right wing steaming was probably right <laughs> <laughs> although you weren't on it you were meant to come the last time and I don't know why I so you, it. it took you two years to get that wee bit in about I leaving see. a good team he was, at, he was at a lodge meeting I was shown to be right no <laughs> <laughs> Your goalie was player of the year and your 37 year old midfielder right behind him. <laughs> oh. So thanks for listening, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Came off bed after that, man. I don't, there's not been many memes recently. Oh, oh, no. No. Maybe I shouldn't have brought this up, man, right? I know. I don't come at it for I'll be honest with you, listen, the burning question that everybody's probably going to want to know is see if you went on holiday to America tomorrow and get to jail and get the death sentence, what would your last meal be? That's, that's a good one too. That's cutting edge. That's a thinker. Chinese. Aye. Chinese. Mm-hmm. Aye. What, what's your order? Uh, what's your order of choice? Um, maybe but you need to tell. Salt and chilli, chicken, chicken fried rice, curry sauce. But no, but, but no, hold on a minute. Aye. Mm-hmm. No, but wait there. Right, you've got to remember, on death row, there's literally... Is it a tell- selected menu? No, no there's no... You whatever you that's want, the thing. And there's no limit on the but cash or not. But you can't just want that. Number 37 then. <laughs> <laughs> you can't can say you can't just want that. That's what he said they wanted. Exactly. You don't go to a guy that's about to be put to death. Listen, that's not what you want. I know. <laughs> what, what you want is... But you're not even having a pudding. A banana fritter. No. A banana fritter. No pudding, he's got... See, see if you're on death row, he's coming up to you with fucking blue cheese sauce and all that. Oh, that. Like, that's <laughs> what he's in. Bu- buffalo wings with blue cheese dipped to start. Steak with a side of macaroni and cheese. Do you know what I'm ordering if I'm on death row? A Jack's. There you go. Yeah. Oh, man, a Jack big shout out to Jacks last week for providing a wee toast and all the rest of it. But that's good, we've cleaned that we've, we've already got a 10% off, you don't need to mention it. I want 20. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, uh, Jackie, it's good to see you're an agent as well, and you've been pretty busy recently, haven't you? Aye, aye, busy, busy wee time. Um, no, I enjoy it, I'm watching a lot of games, taking it the, the in, I'm watching quite a few players, got some female players as well. So. All right. Tell me that's yeah. right, so you, when you've got a client and you sign a big deal with him, it's brilliant, obviously. See with John Sutter, is, are you on a pay as he plays? <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> uh, oh, I think with that one, obviously, I jab. just make sure he's all right. Aye. You care about them, and the wee boy, he's been off, I'm the unlucky with injury. Ah, you've made me feel it's terrible now, Jackie. I'm trying to make a joke out of it too. I'm sorry, John. Oh. Sorry, John. Oh, oh, that's quite crass. You're a know. piece of shit, you know that? I yeah. really am, I'm sorry. <laughs> Well, there's anything well. else like when they go into a new club you, you want them to start well and yeah, make sure they settle in like a school boy now sitting like that aye Jackie, yes, Jackie yes Jackie aye <laughs> Jackie sorry sorry see, again. Um, do you know what I've always wanted to know right so how do, see right see when a player gets signed right mm-hmm. what's the process right what's the process of a player transfer for a club contacting uh, an agent or another club how does it go what's the process oh usually the club um, we we'll want to find out if the player would be interested in coming. Like, so John was coming out of contract. I've been new from Hearts, so so it was a few clubs right. approached, got to me. Obviously, to, to find out that I look after him, and then 
you go through the process of speaking to them all and see what the, the, what John wants most importantly then uh-huh. try and uh, deliver it. So did the club then like, uh, refer them to you, the teams that are interested? Like? The club, the club uh, only if it's different, if it's a transfer. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and oh, he, was a, he was a free contract, wasn't he? Yeah, he was coming to contract. Mm-hmm. So um, if it's a club to club, yeah, and you would be, they'd only contact me after they accepted the bid. Right. And I, I would be coming because the player might not want to go there, mm-hmm. even though if the clubs agree. So that's a, lot, a tricky lot. situation. Like if the club agree a fee with the player, and the player goes like, "Yeah, I don't want to go there." Do you get that? No, yet. No. Have you not heard that? No, no, yet. No, yet. Uh, it's interesting because mm-hmm. I remember when the, the shooter one. I'm sure there was a picture of you at Ibrox. Yeah. Did you see that? Was I was it in the disguise. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, was it the day? Was it not the day or something? I think. There was a game on and you were in a... There was a tour just coming in, I had the mask on and... <laughs> Did you do that? It must have been my <laughs> green eyes, so people recognise it. <laughs> Should I put a pair of contacts in? She likes a, you as an agent. Mm-hmm. How do you go about taking folk on? Do you just honour your business card or is it worth I mean, Like, does other players go, Jackie looks after me? Um, no, nah, it's, it's very... T- like, oh, you go obviously go and watch games last week before we over in Dublin watching... Uh, with four games uh, down in Waterford, Victory Shield, younger ones. So you 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 have the different um, levels that you're looking uh, at, and then you try and find out if they've got an agent. If they've not, you know, obviously they need to be over sixteen, um, and then try and uh, speak to the parents uh, and speak to the players. I take it you 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 must get quite uh, you know you've got probably more respect in some of the agents. That have maybe not played the game because that that, mm-hmm. that does exist. So does that benefit you? You know, you've been a manager, you've been a football player. I take it is it easier for you? Do you have an easier ride rather than? Yeah, I think it's different. I mean, it depends what you're looking for. I think, as I said, I prefer mentor mentoring them, helping them uh, going mm-hmm. through. Obviously, learning from my mistakes. Um, you know, different things. I had in my career I had four agents in my the whole time I was uh, playing. Um, so you kind of take wee bits from from them what you would want to do different you've also got the fact that you've seen it for both sides so Aye. you you've mm-hmm. got more experience than just like Gredo says a run of the mill agent kind of thing you know so yeah you would you would have in your head what's best for your player and maybe those that haven't played football or maybe thinking what bottom line for themselves kind of thing you know what I mean so that's I think that's, that's good Aye, you want them to, to be successful you want them to have when they're, when they're finished playing they can do what they want, mm-hmm. you know, and make the right decisions. And um, if they've been to coaching, because I, I think as as a as a player, one of the hardest things to deal with when you come to the end of your career is what do you do next? Mm-hmm. It's like anything ah, else. One thing that you love doing, Aye. because you just it's routine. You're in a routine for since you're 16 year old. You know, training every day, eating right, doing the things, preparing, missing parties, missing weddings, and then suddenly it just there's no. There's no like gradual mm. stopping it, it just in. like what do you do now? And it, I think that's where a lot of boys struggle. Is it something you always want to do, Jackie? Did you always have that in the back of your head towards the end of your playing days? I'm going to be an agent. Uh, no, no. It, um, I, I fell upon it. I, I'd, I tried the management. Aye. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but you know, if I could be running the day night. Ah, you did. Uh, did. This was really ah, I enjoyed, ah. enjoyed again, but it was more working with the younger players, ah. like, you know, Robertson's, Armstrong's, Mackay ah. Stevie. Be Ryan Golds, you're doing that, and you're you're seeing your career starting mm. again. And I got a lot of enjoyment, even at, at Partick Thistle, mm. young boys that were that were kind of um, looked, you know, tossed aside from different clubs. Mm-hmm. And I went, we signed, we didn't have a lot of money there, so we got them in. We released from boys from Motherwell, wee boy Lawless, Forbes, Aye. Stephen O'Donnell for Celtic, mm-hmm. you know, boys for Rangers, Cap Villa, Tony for there. And we, we give them that second chance to go and mm-hmm. get their careers kick started again. Aye. Um and they were brilliant. They were absolutely brilliant. They were hungry, and that's as a manager, you want the, the players to go out and represent you by mm-hmm. giving what they've got. And these these guys had a second chance, and they've all done well. In fairness, you know they've had good Aye. careers turned around from maybe thinking that they're you know they're finished mm-hmm. uh, because they're not getting a, a, a game at the Premier League clubs. Um, United, it was going well. You know it was, it was a tough job going in there with everything that they had mm-hmm. behind the scenes with the debt and. Trying to change it all, um, losing players, and obviously the last wee bit when they didn't s- they sold a few players down, uh, Robertson and mm-hmm. Wee Goldie left, and Armstrong left, Mackay Stephen, Shifsey, mm-hmm. and trying to replace that with no with no money. Aye, that's hard. <laughs> with no money, it was you know then you, it's 
it takes time. It takes time to grow it, to teach them, to do mm-hmm. things how you want them. Aye. Uh, and you don't get that. You don't get that time. You, you touched on Ryan Gold there. Um, he's another player that when he was coming through, he was he was what the big hope at that point in time. Um, he seems to be kicking on tremendously over in America now. He's still in America, he's still in Canada, isn't he? Yeah, he's in Canada, aye, Vancouver. Aye. So, do you not, why why do you think he's not in, in the conversation for the Scotland squad? Because, see, over the past couple of seasons, his numbers are unbelievable. Do you know what I mean? Is, do you think do you think there's a, maybe a wee bit of snobbiness like, oh, he's playing in America? Possibly, again, getting him watched and everything else. Somebody told me he can actually play for Canada. He can play for Canada, can yeah. he? Yeah, mm-hmm. so I wouldn't be surprised if, because as, I mean, he, as a young lad, he was 17 when I, when mm-hmm. I was managing him, and he was he was two or three steps ahead of everybody in the park. Mm-hmm. And he had to be because, you know, he's slight. Body, slight, everything else. But there comes a time when you can catch up with him, and mm-hmm. you always knew that he had that in him. Um, he's went a different route. He went to Sport in Lisbon. Didn't get to where you thought he would have been with that, but he just... Plucked away and he's he's flying, don't he, man? Some I think, player. I think it is one of the things. Too, I think because of where he is playing, I, I think that maybe does go overlooked a bit. Do you know what I mean? But it's the guy. Every, every time you hear about him, like you say, you see his numbers and you see what he's returning. You go, but I think Steve Clark of Scotland. He's got his he's got his players, hasn't he? Who he wants? Right, aye, aye, aye. Until he sees more of Ben Doak. Well, mm. he sees that. Are you excited for the World Cup, Jackie? No, nah, near nah. nah, my. Can I get? Can I get? Feel, doing it? No. Just this time of year, I think it's you just want to get over with. Aye. It's because maybe we were no involved in it, but normally you're, you're all ready for World Cup. The summer's on. You, Aye. you know Aye. what I mean. You can chill out and watch it, Aye. but now it's just like just waiting for it to get to the, the, the season back started again. The only thing I'm happy about it is it Aye, stops the football for us. <laughs> it's been torture week in week out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, couldn't it have came at a worse time for me personally? <laughs> It's came at the absolute best time for me, mate, honestly. For, for us, Jackie, it's me and me, Bob, we're, we're struggling watching the Rangers in it. Aye. It's a bit of a chore, I have to say. Uh, you know, yeah. Andrew's doing well. Jackie, they're not even a good team. <laughs> that way, I'm they not Jackie, they've been, they've been struggling, struggling with, with key personnel injuries Aye. in the back. You know, you've seen the Champions League games. At that level, you make a mistake, it's in the Aye. back of your net. Aye. And that's... It's seven again. times sometimes. Yeah. Seven times sometimes. <laughs> seen it. Seen Is it. Seen it. Can we talk about it? Mate, we've is. got to put up with it. I bet you know, We gave it out. You take it we back. Did, we did. We gave it out. But what? Obviously, Jackie, like, what do you think of hey, Ange? What do you think of the job he's doing at Celtic? You must be delighted with what's happening at Celtic. I think he's I think he's been he's been brilliant since mm-hmm. he came in. He's, it's been a massive transition with players. You know, there's a lot of players mm-hmm. since, you know, look at the last three windows since he's been in, mm-hmm. uh, and I think he'll just continue to do that. Do you think he'll stay there for much longer if he keeps staying there? Keeps staying I think he's, staying? I think he'll, um, I, I do see him, I think if, you know, obviously the, the jobs are coming up and then he's... You know the inside scoops that he's going to go, because I'd like to hear that. No, I'd, be no, right. no, I'd be all right. I'd be all right with that. He's not he's no following no <laughs> Ben Doak, is he? Nah, I, I don't <laughs> see him, I see him being here for another year or two anyway. Aye. Hope so. As long as he gets rid of that cough, oh, I'll tell you, I'm worried about him. <laughs> you've, been, you've been worried about him for a week ah, now, he's, 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 he's had a cough time. for a couple of weeks in his, in his interviews after the games. I hope it's just because he's been shouting, he's had a cough. <laughs> I'm worried about him, I'm telling you. I think he's alright, though. I hope he's alright. Ah, yeah, Ange, I hope you're alright. <laughs> I'm sure he's alright. If you're watching. <laughs> you saw him not long ago, didn't it? Ah, he was great, great part of right enough, wasn't he, Ben? Have you met him? Have you met him? Yep. Would you say I'm a big fan of your work, Ange? How are you doing? Is that what you said to him? No. That, that's what he says to everybody when he bumps into them. Pa- pa- bumped into somebody they'd not met the day before and he's like, how are you doing? I'm a big fan of your work. I, was impre- I think he's, he's an impressive guy. I think, there's, I think I like about him. There's no bullshit. Do you know what I mean? He just, pfft, I think he does that in his press conferences. He's, he, he comes across Aye. like that. He just doesn't he, He's no time for nonsense, I don't think. I think it's like what you he said. He doesn't suffer fools gladly. No, mm-hmm. he doesn't. He. It's what you said there, Jackie, touching on what you mentioned there, like the big turnaround of players and the personnel that's changed since they came in the transitional period. But that really annoys me with Rangers. Like when we're signing players, they're taking so long mm-hmm. to hit the ground running. But with Celtic, it just looked like the players came in 
he's got a philosophy they fit it and they just they've hurt the ground running I think uh, and it, I had yeah, probably about 90% of the signings you've brought in under Ange have all kind of hurt the ground running am I right in saying the, that? The, the only one that hasn't really has been a de Gucci Aye. to be honest with you uh, maybe Bernabe to a, a certain extent, but I think he'll he's just get the hardest job in the world now trying to dislodge Greg Taylor. Well, that's another one. Like what Greg Taylor's become under Ange. Exactly. It's like uh, the same last year with Ralston. Right. He transformed. Mm-hmm. You, I think you thought Ralston, you know, was, he wasn't going to play right. and everything else, and he just pff, pff, he, mm-hmm. you know, the stuff that he done with him transforming. And that's a sign of a good manager. Mm-hmm. You're improving play, not just getting players in, but the players you've the got. Improving players you've got there as you're well. Good improving them. The last kind of manager that. I Remember doing that was Martin O'Neill with Bobby Petter. Remember, mm-hmm. Bobby couldn't he put one foot in front of the other. I know. Then right. Martin O'Neill came. <laughs> <laughs> Martin O'Neill came and turned him into some sort of superstar. Do you know what I mean? Aye. But um, I, it's a, I think is that you've obviously managed yourself. Do you think that that's a lot to do with man management rather than? Ah, I mean, it's not necessarily coaching. It's how they communicate mm-hmm. with them, how you do things, how they make them. You know, that's what Martin. Martin was brilliant. Martin was their coach. He wasn't mm-hmm. he, but he, you know, what he would say to you and what you would do to the players in the dressing room. Um, you'd want to play for him, you would throw a brick wall for him, and, right. and that, that's that's the difference. You ever, you ever had a manager where you went, what is he talking I can't remember what's name. Do you ever get that? Yeah. You got to tell us that? No. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about yourself? Have you, ever, have you ever went, have you ever been in a position right, where you're a manager and you're going, I don't know if he's like me. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I've been, yeah, in a, I've been in a position I'm losing, of, them. Uh, I'm losing them here York, York was a tough gig down there Was it? Aye, aye. You're loosening was, up and all that and just Just I don't know if they could have stand us anyway and talk <laughs> quick but it was that was a tough gig Have you ever loosened up like when you, you've thrown things and mm-hmm. Aye A couple of times Aye And then do you wake up the next morning going oh man I was a redneck or do you go no I was right No Aye Courage your convictions man aye. I think you're, you're doing stuff when it's even like writing, I see managers that have been notepads and writing stuff down, mm. and then you go, you go in because if you go in in half time and you're looking at like your notepad to tell you what you've got to remember what you say to them, it becomes false. Even you're doing Aye. a speech to them, it's I never used to write anything down, I used to just kind of do it f- Aye, for, the, for heart. the heart. Yeah, I don't know what it's like your Celtic Christmas That's advert. why I struggled. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the Celtic Christmas advert? Ah, yeah. Callum Cal- Cal- McGregor's reading something off a bit of paper, man. He's like, and if you want to donate to this, <laughs> so that's what it must be like standing in a was, dressing room was, with a notepad. Was there no like a meme years ago, like Paul Ince, with a bit of paper? And it zoomed in and he wrote something like pure daft. Maybe Google that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Joe Rogan here with Jamie. Get the whiteboard out then. But I'm sure there was with Paul Lynch and he wrote something like completely that. I bet like people I... not change what it said on it. Oh, maybe ah, I fell for it. It's just been kind of. And I fell for it. I think you have, mate. Oh. I think. I... <laughs> so, anyway, Jackie. Paul Lynch's notepad. What was it, fake? No, no. Paul Lynch's notepad was a goal and he wrote shoot. <laughs> <laughs> aye, that was legit, but aye. was it no? Aye, aye. Was it legit? Aye, aye. aye. Oh, so Paul you Lynch. Paul Lynch, man, no. no what a player he was, but... Paul Lynch? Aye. aye. Oh, Who, who's the better? Are you got to say Larson, I take it? Aye, aye. Right, next question. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, seeing you're talking about your management that there, Jackie, did you ever, like, times where, like, if you're struggling, ever like, speak to Mark O'Neill and get advice off? Aye, that's a good one. Um, no, nah, if I'd seen them, I'd, I would ask them, but mm-hmm. I wouldn't phone them up for right. advice because you become something else. You know right. what I mean? I'd, I'd just try to do it my way, and, and mm-hmm. it didn't the work. The experience you had with them. Aye, right. what they what we think what they would do, or right. um, but I never, I wasn't one for uh, going up back to old managers and right. asking for help or anything or mm-hmm. seeking that because um, I, I didn't think it was the right thing right. to do. You know I mean, mm-hmm. I never just I don't know a pride thing. Aye, just I rather fail doing it your way, at least like, looking in the mirror and thought, all right, I went and done it my way and aye. didn't it work? It aye. worked, it didn't work, aye, definitely. So, who was a better player then, uh, De Canio or Lubo? Lubo. Lubo, every time? I would say Lubo, no. I you any mental De Canio stories for us? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> no, he was fucking mad. Aye, he was mad. Um, was he wild? Aye, aye, one of the best trainers, though. See, aye. in training, he was. They not used to run to training for his gaff and run home. No, I don't think. No, I used to come in these wee sports car things. Oh, it would. Aye, fancy motor coming. I stay caught bridge stories told for people you know. Aye, nice. I seen yeah, him. Yeah, I, seen him, I, seen him, I seen him running through Coat Bridge one day. I thought, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's on my way to training. 
Nah, he, he was he was mental. Aye, not case. He was one of the players, but still, when I look back, well, I can't believe he played in this country. Uh, he was a bit of an icon, but there was a he? lot. There was a lot of players at that time. Mm-hmm. Run about, run about that era. You had obviously Gaza and Loudrop were there. Mm. You had the Canio. You've got Larson. You've obviously um, Celtic had a few at that time. Okay. No, the one I couldn't believe he signed Alan Stubbs. Oh, See when we signed Alan Stubbs, I couldn't believe it, man. Because he was there was talking him going to the big teams in England, mm-hmm. and we ended up signing him. Was was he a was he a good player to play, man? Aye, aye, this good, good in the ball, Stubbs. Eh? Start things off. Um, scored a crucial goal, man, against us at Parkhead. Scored he? a couple yeah. of goals aye. against us. Aye, but this crucial one could have stopped the team. Last minute, aye. Aye. equalised. Did he still win it? Mm-hmm. Aye. The game mm-hmm. had been pushed. It was a good ball in. Mm-hmm. Never crossed that. I can't remember. Who was it? Crossed that? Who was it? By the way, it had snow in it. What about Ian Wright? I know, do you remember him signing for Celtic? Aye. So he came in just after. Henrik broke his leg. That's right. He was there at the time, mate. I think he remembers. No, I know, but... but, I love it, but... Uh, but again, when when boys come up to Scotland, I think think it's just going to be easy. Ah. You've seen it yourself. Fuck, there's Barton again, mate. And that's the same people all day. But it's... It's no... Sometimes harder. Because the expectation with us... You need need to win every game. Um, Mm -hmm. And they're not used to that. No. It's a total different mindset. If I, you right. I think there's a few that have come up. Like, um, remember Emerson with Rangers and mm-hmm. Janino at Celtic, and even Gravison. I think they, they came here for maybe a wee retirement party kind of thing. God, there's not talking yet about their husband Lords. Get Fanny Jeffers yeah. coming yeah. up. Jeffers. James, well, James, uh, James Beatty. James Beatty. Duffy, he went down to Newcastle in the top scorer in the Championship, but he kind of failed at Celtic. Was it mm. Aye, Daryl Duffy, that's yeah, right. Duffy, aye. 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 Uh, he, was, he was in the middle of his career, though, but like he says, he, when he came up, he never really aye, had the floor running. There. But when he went back down, he ended up getting a transfer to Newcastle and everything, remember? Yeah. yeah. He'd done well. But Joey Barton for me recently, but he's, a, he's like. Are you still going on about it? And by the way, he put something up yesterday on Instagram about Bobby Madden, but I don't know what he was trying to get. Did you see that? No, I just seen the man he said the other day when he said, uh, when I watch Rangers, I'm seeing the same players that I used to shout about. He was having a go at Tav. Mistakes. Oh, aye, totally. He was having a go at Tav. Aye, what was the score with their game now? Like, Fleetwood and... I hope. 2-2. Uh, 2-2, two, two. Two two two. Two. Yeah. Sean Rooney. Sean Rooney scored the two of them. Really? Did he? Yeah. Took big Sean down to York. Aye. Took him down to York for uh, Queen's Park. Aye. Because... I remember seeing them, the press was big enough, wasn't they? Because it's Brown v Barton and mm-hmm. all that on the touchline, but no ne- fireworks, I take it. No, I did Barton get sent off. He got sent off, so Barton. So that's how he, he tweeted, the, he randomly he, tweeted Bobby Madden's Wikipedia. I don't oh. know whether he was, because it was, he said he was a Scottish referee, because what he did was he took a, a screenshot of Madden's Wikipedia, and it said Robert Madden is a Scottish referee, blah, 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 blah. And he wrote, I just want to apologise, I should never square, eh, square, swear, eh, apologies to Robert Madden. And then he put, oh, it was just a bit bizarre, man. Is Bobby Madden down in England then? Aye, he did the championship. I thought my Instagram was... He chucked it for you, mate. Why, did, why did I think he had went to, like, Dubai or something? Don't know. Don't know but oh, no, that was that English ref, wasn't it? The, the guy that Pure Love Diesel used to have a gel tear and all that. He, ended was, up. he was sick of you moaning about him every week. Clamber. Listen. Hey, Clamberg. I'm at, aye, Clamberg, Clamber. that's right. Clamber. But see, Clamber. talking about referees, Jackie, right? Yeah. We need to talk about VAR. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie's what about that penalty? What about that penalty for Ross County? Did you see it? No, but you don't get fed up. <laughs> well, I get fed up. Celtic's going on about it. It's a full of the ones that are affected. No, but it. you know what? We're, we're winning our games and it doesn't actually affect us that badly. So what are you moaning about then? Because it's, it's fucking downright true. Language. It's language. True. Sorry. He said the three words. <laughs> he what, said see you next Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> I did see that. Oh, you did, me. Did did I remember he says, oh, Jackie, if you ever had a manager that I just thought, doesn't he like me? Oh, oh right. Right. you've just said that, no? Right, ah. come on. <laughs> so, you're a fan then, Jackie? No, va? No. Right, but, to, I don't get that. Why are, you, why are you saying it's the time cheating? it takes or no? It's just. Ah, it's a farce. It's a farce. It's a farce. It's a farce. See, that, see that Hearts game there on Night Hearts versus Livingston? Aye. It was outrageous. I think there was like 10 minutes injury time at the end of the game, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and the. When Living, sorry, when Hearts have been up and equalised in the 96th minute, mm-hmm. Janelli, by the way, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> my Janelli, boy, Josh. See in your books, Janelli? No. <laughs> by the way, you should get him, he's brilliant. <laughs> 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 so, um, he scored the goal, right? But Aye. big uh, Obelai, mm-hmm. not Obelai, um, Nubli, Nubli up front, has went into the box, he's been barged. Mm-hmm. So, for me, it's a foul, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They've not even been back and looked at it. 
So what is going on? Because I think it's like what's his name? It does the thing in the morning in Sky Sports News. The referee doing so. Oh, the old English keys with uh, Demi O'Leary, Demi O'Leary, Demi O'Leary, Demi Gallagher. Demi Gallagher. <laughs> Demi it's because I met Demi O'Leary. Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. G four. No, he was saying he was trying to cut a bit of slack, saying, "Look, it's not going to happen overnight in Scotland. It's going to take a bit of time." But like you say, it is taking too much time. And sometimes when I'm watching a game, or even if I'm at Ibrox. Ranger score, you're that scared to celebrate because you're going, is everyone all right? Because you don't know if it's going to get, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, mm-hmm. it's aye, it needs to, to be a 40 yarder and aye, it all aye, aye, I know. I know. You, but even you... at that, you're, you're freaking out in case like, the goalie's done something before he's passed. Do you know what I mean? Is there aye. something well, you're not sure if it's five minutes ago, uh, two minutes ago, or something it could be that they've gone and they've stopped that move. I know. It's aye. only in that passage of play, though, which is, aye. Which is aye. decent. But aye. it's going to take time to get it right. But the, some of the glaring, ridiculous decisions that I've seen. Over the past month since it's been brought in, mm-hmm. it's they uh, need to do something quickly. Especially that when um, Celtic were gave a throw in and against Mullerwell, the player. Aye, so uh, that should have been looked into as well. But he let us have that one because Jota was on side. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think what they, they do need to do is sort out the handball. That's the big one. The handball in, 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 in the box. That's yeah. just yeah, every game since Bar's been brought in, we've had a penalty against us for handball in the box. But but see the thing is as well. That's yeah. very that's very uh, it's very subjective. But in it mm. like an unnatural position. Aye, it's, aye. it's very you know you, what you could say is unnatural is different from what I say is unnatural, etc. 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 Indeed. Yeah, can I agree you, more, Gredo, etc. Yeah, he says that I was reading that you went to be a chief executive officer after your management. You moved up there. How did that come about? Like, if you leave the manager and then you end up working as chief executive? I was resigning. I was finishing up as manager. I was coming back up the road, and the owner, who's um, the grand old duke, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he'd, uh, he'd asked if I would stay on and help him. Yeah. He said, like, uh, I need 10,000 men. <laughs> Aye, to be honest, I didn't. It wasn't, a, it wasn't enjoyable either. Ah. No. Nah. It was too. Transition just, into manager into. Just in an office and making sure. Sitting on Facebook and all that? Uh, it wasn't for me. It was. But she said that um, I'd done it there for a while until he, uh, he'd sold the club. Or he was so he was selling the club and I could, I could leave after that. So. Do you know offer to sell it to you? Yeah. Do you know what for sell it to you? Oh, no. <laughs> it's a way now, he's somebody else has bought it now. Yeah. American owner. Would you go back into management? No. Never? No. Nah. Money too good, this agent game, then I take it, aye. No, <laughs> no it's just ugh, like anything else, you want to enjoy it. It's, uh, it's, it's difficult to enjoy, honestly. It's, it's, uh, even if you get the best team and it's there, the best players, it's just yep. week to week. It's just it's too consuming. What if, See, I, what if Angela left the Moran Celtic came calling? Nah, I wouldn't, honestly. No. Nah. No. I've got no just. I mean, you see it. Even see the stuff I re- looking at there with Gio. Aye. So everybody who's now looking at his body language because he's not jumping about like a loony. I know. I know. And then, but when he's when he's winning, nobody says anything about that. It's, it's just everybody's looking for stuff. That's a lot of rubbish. It's right. crap. Aye, yeah, it's, Aye. It's, it's it's really like analysing it and too much. And but it was that as a player. He was. Aye. He was a, he was a, Good player, Gio. I mean, mm. um, he's a quality player. He's he's calm. He's got a. But even if no. you're jumping about like a loony inside their park, the players can't hear you. No. There's 50,000 no. people there, and there's no. the noise, everything else. Mm. Even in the games, on the pitch, no. I'm standing for you and I'm shouting at you, you can't hear me. No. So, me going like that beside the pitch and getting the hands up, no. and the fans, we want to see emotion, we want to see them no. acting no. like a loony. Yeah, social media's played a big part in that. Aye. Aye. Aye, it's went, went, too, you went mu- too far. You must be glad that social media wasn't a bit back in your day. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, could, you, could you imagine the outcry when you lamped Mark Cately that time? I never touched him. Oh. <laughs> that was superimposed, that. <laughs> Doing a daily record, that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. Were you the early day, the canny was whatever square goal with Ian Ferguson? That was, was, that that was the same, the same game. game. So what yeah. happened? Did it then happen in a tunnel after it then? No. I was that no? Did did the goalie know bounce the the, the, the ball off? The can he was he as well? I think so. And he done it twice. I'm sure. Did they know? Something like that happened. Yeah, but he, the can was like that to fair. Aye, aye, right. breaking your leg. Aye, breaking your leg. But I, I mean, I got away with murder. I hooked Hately. He got sent off. Yeah, Hately got sent off. I was like, I remember that. And hanging around and was think all uh, with big Stuart to care and goals. Aye. And uh, he got a red card. I get none. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 
Did you enjoy the old foreign games? Loved them. Aye. Mm. Loved them. Aye. That's uh, they said when you when you leave when I left Celtic, that's that's what you miss. Aye. You just even just that you know, the way games there, the the, the buzz of that, it's hard to it's hard to um to get that again. Mm-hmm. You know, European games were special, the, the atmosphere of it, but when you're going to an old firm game, uh, there's nothing better. Aye. Aye, it's killer be killed, isn't it? Old firm game, the European games, you, you're like, it's oh, that's right. insane, but you have to have that there and going mm-hmm. into that, Aye. you know, and Aye. it's, it's uh, that's what you live for. Could you imagine oh. how nervous you used to would be if you were playing for Rangers in an actual. I wouldn't have last. No, I was going to say. I would do. By the way, do you know what I was thinking? Yeah. Could you imagine we were then that staff friendly in Australia? Imagine we never pulled it out and we had to play Celtic next week. We'd get absolutely destroyed. I mean, destroyed, man, destroyed. That's, that, I think that's the most frustrating thing as well, as see when Gerard was at Rangers, I think in the end up, Gerard had Celtic's number. I generally do. I mean, even... I like to to ask for tactics no, or something like that. No, but you, you, you think that, that first game of the season where we had 70% of our squad out, Aye. we still managed to get through it, but I think that, that, that the big thing was Chiu take care. What happened? Did he lose his phone? Because he lost the number, we ended up turning them over. Uh, no, but what I'm saying is, but it happened after Gerard left. Uh, I right, the first I, game. I, the I, se- I think with that one, I don't think it's as much Gerard's get Celtic's number as it is the players played more for Gerard. Is that? It could be right. I, I, it could be that. It could be what Cable's saying. I think under Gerard, I mean, we managed to even beat. We might find out again soon. No. <laughs> we even beat he's under Gerard for having a shot and goal. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So I it, came, it goal became goal team, the, what Gerard done was flip the mindset a wee bit of that Rangers team. But I think under Geo, and I think with Celtic, Ange's done it with Celtic. Mm. That's what I'm saying. Aye. So I think Ange's done the same thing. Well, we can't really love on you when we're playing you now. But you see, the thing is, like. I alright, we beat his at Ibrox. That was a narrow win. The two, I think. The two one game. I think the next the next game will be pretty telling. See if we hammer his at Ibrox. Aye, no, your game. Aye, Aye. I think that you'll you'll be right in what you're saying. But I think the the stadium's got a lot to do with it. But I also think that having no the same amount of fans as we used to yeah. have is mm-hmm. it's kind of ruined it a bit. Uh, it'd be interesting. I mean, Gerard would overload the midfield Aye. area, Aye. and Aye. the width would come for the fullbacks. The fullbacks, born and that's been totally there, but then changed now. They would have that. Aye, Aye. Totally, it's been, I mean, you've Michael Beale in there Aye. as well. Aye. It was a big that's influence. what I think was the main. I think that was the main factor with Rangers. Like you were saying about an earlier, like I don't think Gerard wasn't the coach. I think Beale done everything that way, but. Mm-hmm. I don't know, do you think Gio will last? Do you think he'll still be in a job come the fixtures starting up again? Um, I think he will be, aye, with the fixtures starting. Aye, I'd, I'd, I'd be surprised if he changed them now. Mm-hmm. Um, in fairness, I, I thought he'd done unbelievable getting to the Champions League. I, I, I agree with you. Do you mean, mean financially, aye, for aye, the club, aye, everything? Because he'd done it, you know, done uh, it on the a hard way. He'd done it on a shoe string anyway. He'd done it the hard way and he's had, mm-hmm. again, I don't mean excuses for him, but he has had a lot of Injuries, key players in mm. the back. Centre halves are, are massive. At that Aye. Goldson's been a big loss shooter. He's not. You've not obviously seen him. No. Rangers fans have seen him yet. Yeah. I know well. the kids. What he's what, uh, John. What he'll bring to that mm. when he is fit. It just well, when we played Hearts in the Scottish Cup final, he was Hearts' best player that day. I think. Yeah, he actually played a great game. He played really well that and day. And you lost. And obviously lost players in the summer. But he said it's that's what happens. It's nah. recruitment. That's the key, I think, you know, Rangers and Celtic, I think, see Celtic's, whatever, Cel- eh, scouting Aye. network they've got, their recruitment, it's bang on, whereas we sign, we spent a bit of money, it was nearly three million on Matondo. Have you not got John Park in? You have got John Aye. Park in, yeah. 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 John Park was a big part of quite a lot of the, the big Aye. deals that Celtic, Celtic done Aye. back in the day. Mm-hmm. And dykes so, and stuff. Aye. And he's still doing big deals for you, now. Signing as Matondo. Aye. Aye. Yeah, he was at Blackburn. He was at Blackburn last Aye. year with Mowbray. Agent Park still doing his job for you. By the way, I'll tell you this, and now you see this, this transfer window, this could be interesting, because I think that man knows what he's doing. Aye. Aye, I really do. I hope you're right, Tom. <laughs> I, I really hope you're right. I really do. Celtic Manor, Celtic Manor, the winning survivor results, Gio's had to know, regardless of Champions League. I don't know, did you never see Neil winning? Would you not want him it? Um, I get the, the bringing the money in that in, right? But ultimately, the results just aren't good enough. It's the results. Any sort of sign that the team's going to start playing. Results and performance levels. I think they're struggling confidence-wise, and now there's that wee spark. There's a few, especially the forward areas, what you're mm-hmm. relying on. You know, Kemp's been kind of off the Aye. off a wee bit. Sometimes when boys are coming out of contract, 
you know, they, they don't handle it well. Mm. They worry about rather than doing what they're good at. <coughs> Morelos has not been... There's quite a few of them. There's a few, a few mm. in, in the forward areas. Aribo was a big player for Rangers last year. He's away. You know, he, he chipped in with a lot of, mm. a lot of goals. And, and so that's uh, you've got your man as well, uh, Bassey. Yep. Well. Passive is massive. Another, I mean, the other boy scored a lot of goals since he came in. He started well. Joe Lack. Yeah. Ah, he's been doing uh, well. He's decent. Um, he's got an injury now, I know. <laughs> he injured him very well. I don't know what the hell's going on at Ibrox, honestly. Mm-hmm. It's, they need to get the turf checked at Murray Park or something. Cause it's but, but by the way, that's a good I was listening to Bill right and he was talking about how important that doctor was, that Dr. Wallace, Dr. Aye. Wallace or something like that. The guy, the guy left. Aye, he's kind of old keys on. He left, he's doing it. What is he now? Is he. A rugby club or something like that. But it just shows you the importance as well as having a, a, a good doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I had a good doctor years ago. And it's, well, well, I'm not, I'm cutting good. edge, in-depth I mean, football analysis. Yeah, like, in there. Steve, do, 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 I wonder if any of the players had to send pictures of their boys to that doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go back. We'll get a guest in, Cole. Get a guest in. No, I was just it for an hour time. Uh, well, we uh, said last week's podcast, wasn't it? I bet that was an hour time. Aye, <laughs> <laughs> you can hear it if you listen that I mean, you can hear what happens but you don't so Jackie we'll get in a wee bit of fun right uh, but before we do it we'll, we'll ask you would, would you, th- you think who's going to win the league <laughs> <laughs> oh, cut that cut that no, next, next season <laughs> next season <or> next season <laughs> we'll get in a wee bit of fun Jackie before we do it aye me with my arse of myself aye the league's done and dusty aye so you're saying there's a chance hey that's a I mean, could we get there and we'll do the wee thing? Unless they go sign that doctor in January. Aye. I thought you were going to ask me who's going to finish second. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd you think finish second, Jack? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the podcast. Let me tell you a bit about our sponsors. Performance Tyres. Performance Tyres, they supply a wide range of high quality performance tyres at low, low, low prices. They've got three branches that cover the Central Belt, Annie's Land, Air and Kermunuk. And they stock all of the major tyre brands. We've got Pirelli, Hankook, Avon, Yokohama, Continental, Goodyear and they specialise in Lazar tyres. Lights, trucks and vans, cars, they supply all season tyres, winter tyres and they run flat tyres for for all seasons. Listen, they provide a professional tyres fitting service. All the branches have got up to the minute fitting equipment to take care of those precious alloy wheels and they provide the highest standard of computerised wheel balancing and accurate wheel alignment. So here's a crack. If you want your tyres done, if you need your car sorted and fitted with new tyres, give them a call 0141 954 9344 or click the link in the description. Now let's give a shout out to the main sponsor of this pod, the daddy of them all, G4 Claims. They were here in Wishaw in the G4 Claims Empire. And G4 <laughs> Claims provide the quickest, most reliable and friendly service to anyone involved in a non-fault accident. Every G4 Claims customer is treated with the most utmost professionalism and respect. Accidents are stressful, Graham. Of course they are. Yes. So please pass the worry and hassle on to G4, and they will make it simple and easy to get you back on the road as soon as possible. Call them on 01698 767 172. That's 01698 767 172. Or you can visit them at notatfault.com. And the link, as always, is in the description. Welcome back to the podcast. We're here with Jackie McNamara. We're going to get a wee game of what am I saying? Jackie, here's a crack. Uh, you are going to get music put through your ears. Mm-hmm. You won't hear a thing. I am going to tell you a list of footballers, football-related terms, some general terms. You need to guess what I'm saying. Do you get that? No. <laughs> right, right, see, you're going to have loud music playing and you're not right. able to hear them. Just need to read Grado's lips and try and guess what you're who's, saying. Who's talking about? Uh, it'll be uh, like football like terms, oh, right. terms, phrases. I'll be in Aye, some that are. Aye. Oh, do not fuck my list. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jamie's got the cans. He's got. Is there right. any particular music you would like? Or do you want to just let Jamie pick it? No, I'm easy. Right. So if you see, if, see if you're really struggling, mm-hmm. just say pass. Right? Aye. I'll just say I'll be in Rovers. <laughs> <laughs> Pierre Van Hoydonk. Pierre Van Hoydonk. Yes. Umbro. 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 Vida Reset. 
Vidar Recef. Mount Kilimanjaro. Mount Kilimanjaro. I'll be an overs. <laughs> Sparta Prague. Sparta Prague. Right, Hapoel Tel Aviv. Hapoel Tel Aviv. Hapoel Tel Aviv. Rab Douglas. Jam tarts. <laughs> Rab Douglas. Rab. Rab Douglas. Yes. Hugh Dallas. Hugh Dallas. Hugh Dallas. Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy. <laughs> Tinker Taylor Soldier Spy. I'll be Novas. <laughs> <laughs> Reggie Blinker. Reggie. Reggie Blinker. Mm-hmm. Yes. They're not even a good team. They're not even a good team. They're not even a good team. They're not even a good podcast. I should be quicker over that. That's a great view. Jackie, you get 10 out of 12, you passed on, or at least you said Albion Rovers for Mount Kilimanjaro. (laughs) That well known centre forward. Yes, and Tinker Taylor, soldier spy. A well-known left back. Oh, right back for Sparta. <laughs> <laughs> but mate, that puts you 10 out of 12. That's the highest score we've had on what I'm saying. So I think that means now for Damien Fitter Plus we've got a wee leaderboard like Kermit the Day on Jeremy Clarkson's thing. Top Gear. Aye. The switch. Aye. No, let's do that. Let's do that. Right, Aye. Okay. Well, Jackie's tapped now because he's the only one that's done it. Yeah. Fitter Plus, done it. So. Oh, mate, what a good start. Man. Well done, Jackie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. All right. Well, it's been a great evening spent here at the G4 Claim Studio in Mushot with our very, very special guest, Jackie McNamara. And it's good to see him looking well. Obviously, you were ill a couple of years ago as well. You've got, um, you, you know, you're looking great and everything is working out well for you. You're, you're still health. here, mate. I'm still, still here. here. Yeah. Still strength, strength. I need to ask you one last thing before we go, Jackie, right? You played in the UEFA Cup final in Seville. Mm-hmm. How much did you want to strangle Sean Maloney with that free kick at the end? It wasn't so much Sean, it was more Big Bobo, although Bobo would batter me, but um, <laughs> I thought that was a, the, the turning point. When him getting sent off. Aye. Aye. Was there a lot of words in the dressing room after that with Bobo? Nah. Nah, nah come on. He's getting on, he's nah, fucking no, 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 no. Pick your victims, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> although, Lee Stillian done that a couple of years before, I think about a year before, no, sorry, a year after that, Stillian had a pop at one of the games and... I think it took about 10 people to stop Bobo getting what? to him. Oh. You wouldn't mess. Could no, you imagine? You imagine taking one Was off. it a Hulk? Oh. Oh. Aye. Remember when he scored against Rangers of Cup for he took his tap off? Aye. He looked like Terry Crews. Aye. 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 And then Fergie done it and had a vest on. <laughs> he was on him and then... We stained it. Yeah. Fergie looked like Rab C after him. <laughs> Jamming, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Big Bobo took his tap off. I'm going to get it off. Shit, I forgot about that vest. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, as I say, thanks very much, Jackie, for coming along. And uh, so, what's, just before you go, I mean, what's, what does the future hold for you, Jackie? Um, you try and get enjoyment, so mate. To sell enjoyment. Just like. enjoy it. Enjoy life. Aye, get another wee crack at it. Um, mm, aye, definitely. Enjoy going to watch the games. Join helping the players and mm. uh, having a good laugh, good time. Aye. Mate. Brilliant. Well, thanks very much, Jackie. Thanks for coming. But Cheers. Thank you. Remember, if you subscribe to YouTube, you will see. Jackie trying to beat the Gradle. So get subscribed because we've got to go downstairs into the. It's the performance tiles arena. Yes. <laughs> and me and Jackie are going to be penalty shoot into Gradle. So get subscribed to YouTube to see that trips. Let's do it. Welcome once again to the Performance Tiles Arena for another good old-fashioned game of Beat the Grado. Today we've got Jackie McNamara, Celtic Scotland, Wolverhampton Wonders legend, and Stephen Purden. So, up first is Jackie. That's a beautiful penalty kick from McNamara. Beautiful. And that is 1-0 to Mr. McNamara. Shell suit Bob steps up. And... Oh, he's equalised. Grado wouldn't have saved that one on the way back out. Oh. Jackie steps up for penalty number two. Oh! 
<laughs> He's only got in Penenka that Steve Lee was caught all ends up and it's 2 1 McNamara. Up steps Pudding. It's a save! It's a save! Stephen Pudden tries to be a wido and makes an arse of it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Jackie steps up to take a two-goal lead. Oh, it's a save by Steve Lee. It's a save by Steve Lee. Here we go. Steve, if Stephen scores, he goes level here. Makes it two apiece with three penalties each taken. It's a save by Steve Lee. Unbelievable stuff. There you go. Uh, it's 2 1 to Jackie. We're going into the fourth round of penalties. Jackie steps up. Oh, he's, he's near dismantled the goals there. What an effort from McNamara. Reminds me of his beautiful strike against Liverpool at Celtic Park. If Stephen misses, it's games a bogey. Oh. Boo. Goal for Pudden. Pull him in, Hans, Steve Lee. If Jackie, if Jackie scores, it's all over. Here we go. Here we go. Here we, here we go. Yo. It's all over. <laughs> Jackie McNamara, four. Stephen Pudden, two. What a result, ladies and gentlemen. And that's, that's all from this week's A Pint and Two Shots podcast.